Farm. Farm. We've got a little update on our pasture. Uh, a little tour to bring you on via a rhino ride. Specifically, a tour of what's been happening the past year, and especially during this hot summer, uh, we haven't been proactively doing any Much. big projects. And it, so this just kind of shows even if aren't doing as much work. Um, the homestead is still working for us. The bees and the ducks and our trees are still growing. And our wood chips, our wood chip process mm -hmm. is holding water into the soil like right. we wanted. So this is a tour to show you what, uh, what's been happening this summer while we've been taking a break yeah. from working yeah, what's as been it's been growing. so hot. that's been seasoning over the last year. A lot of this wood started in here fresh and now a lot of it looks very dry and ready to have a fire again, so. Where did we get this wood? The various trees around the property. When we were trimming up the trees, like that tree, that one over there, that Palo Verde. These were all overgrown. Very overgrown. Every tree we have trimmed so far. And that's where we got the majority of all this wood. A lot of the smaller branches we chipped, and these are the bigger branches, which is gonna be our firewood. Gonna wood chip these sticks over here one day and they're right now just drying out. I might crunch them up with like the tractor too. Once they get dry enough, I will just like get them small, turn them into dirt, probably chip the big ones. This is a large like stick pile that is waiting to be wood chipped. that we did is still standing strong. Okay. Um, I'm starting to spread wood chips on this side of the fence. Um, we're gonna go ch take a look at the line of where like the wood chips end right now, but I've been working on some wood chips all over the fence. This is the jacaranda we planted. It's only looking stronger than it uh, than it ever has. The shed's been standing strong, but uh, one day I walked out and the doors were open, and some of the bins in there were kind of spread all over the ground, mm -hmm. like javelina got in. So it's always a javelina. Yeah. It's standing strong. It's keeping everything in there dry, and it's been a nice uh, storage area to have. Behind me back there we have our beehives. We have two hives and this year we harvested 40 pounds of honey. Uh, the bees are busy right now and we're pretty much done with the uh, honey harvesting season. But that doesn't mean we stop taking care of them. We take care of them year round and then they give us honey in the spring. So you can see the line here where I um, have the difference between the desert floor and the wood chipped floor. I've been using the tractor to bring wood chips down here and spread them across the yard. And so far up to this point, I started spreading wood chips down at that fence and I have them spread it all the way out till uh, this point now. So we got quite a bit, uh, but we also have quite a bit to go. These three mulberries we planted uh, earlier last uh, in the winter time, and they all have greenery on them. These two are actually doing really well and growing big. That one seems to be stunted or dwarfed a little bit uh, because it's supposed to be really big too. 
But we it's, got that one smaller than these ones. Yeah, right? it's a Shangri-La. It should be a prolific grower, mm -hmm. so I'm not sure why it's kind of stunted there. Yeah. So, but uh, they all have leaves. They're all alive. And we'll go check out the cottonwood trees and more of the wood chips. This cottonwood didn't seem to make it. This was one of our three, or one of our four that we transplanted, and uh, yeah, it's not passing the uh, <laughs> the stick break test. The other three that we did looked out in the room, right? Lots of them have leaves. So yeah, they don't seem to be affected by the aphids down here. Maybe everything else is too dry around them. This one was really, really little when we planted it. And now it's as big as these other two next to it. This one had the best soil out of yeah. the So we started spreading wood chips back here in uh, February of this year. Uh, and we started right over here. And I wanted to take a dig down and see what's underneath some of these wood chips here. We haven't been watering it, we've only let the rains fall on it. Um, so we want to see if there's any moisture under here or any, uh, any life we can see and see the kind of condition of the soil only a few months after we've put them down. So we'll start removing some of the wood chips here. And you can see immediately, even though there's a dry surface on the chips, it's holding in moisture of the d dirt underneath there. So, with the moisture, there might be worms or other bugs and ants and stuff um, speeding up the decomposition of this. But yeah, there's a little bug right there. But that is uh, creating an environment for life. It's easy to dig in really everywhere we leave the wood chips. And that's the theory behind having these wood chips. We're changing the nature of the soil underneath. These wood chips themselves will also become soil, like a top cover soil, so we should have a nice, lots of area to grow uh, animal feed here in the future. So you can see the soil, the ground on this is like dry and dirt, and there's really nothing to support life underneath the dirt there. No bugs at all, nothing to feed the bugs or any kind of um, microorganisms or life forms. So as you can see, we have a whole lot of raw desert dirt here, but if we keep spreading wood chips on top of it, we're going to get that nice moist um, soil all over this pasture here and uh, really change the, uh, the biome of what, uh, what uh, is naturally here. Our goal is to grow our own weeds, greenery, animal feed, and have free roaming farm animals down here. backyard has a microclimate like we're kind of striving for down there. Trees and grass back here like to grow pretty naturally with we don't water this lawn only the rain does. However back in 2021 this is the area we did focus the wood chips on and the chips are pretty much all gone. So this is a tour to show you what, uh, what's been happening this summer. Um, 
while we've been taking a break yeah. from working yeah, what's as been it's been growing? so hot. So. What else has been growing? It's not just trees that are growing. We're gonna have a little addition here uh, next month. But come fall and winter, we're going to be picking up the pace with projects because just being out here filming this today, um, yeah, it takes a lot of energy. Oh yeah, so. it's just so hot. Well, we had to move inside <laughs> because it was so hot outside that the camera shut off and <laughs> stopped, stopped working. Along with the new baby, we're going to have a big home renovation here soon. Mm -hmm. And we've been uh, preparing that, preparing for that. We've had a, been working with an architect. Mm -hmm. This wall that you see behind us will not be here that much longer. No. If you like the video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. We come out with homesteading content frequently. <laughs> Thanks for watching Sawaro, Sawaro Farm. Farm. We'll see you next time.